I was studying about the Shenju in Taiwan. They have created a whole ecosystem, right? From right now we have like, I and mean, then why I'm asking about this? They have a research, they have a university, they have a fab factory, they have, you know, they have everything. Uh, so do you think we will be able to create something like that? I think part of our goal, I've, I've been to Shinshu oh, and I, 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 I know how that ecosystem works and it has taken almost about 60 odd years for yes. that to develop. It's not overnight. They started in uh, 60s. Yeah, in the mid 60s or early 60s is when they started with a ITRI is their uh, research institution which is based there. Then of course, there's a Shinju University, there are one or two other universities which have come up there. And then the entire ecosystem was yeah. built around that. It's a whole city built around semiconductors yeah. and fabs. And it's, it's quite amazing to actually go and see it. And uh, when they walk you through how it has been done, it's truly amazing. And you know, I, uh, the one thing when you realize about, uh, when you look at Taiwan and you realize that given their history and given how it has come about and given what you still see side by side with all these modern developments, many of the older buildings look like any building in India, right? I mean, so what they've done is they preserved the older stuff. It's not as if they've demolished all of that and built just these modern structures. So uh, less than half a kilometer from Taipei 101, which is that mm. uh, the highest tallest building in Japan, in Taiwan, you have you know, buildings which look like out of any street in any city in India and which are much, I mean, maintained more neatly and clean. But then what it gives you is a clear understanding of uh, this is a country which maybe 30, 40 years ago was at this level and look where they've gone now. Yeah. And uh, clearly then it gives you hope and it gives you uh, a sense of what the possibilities are for how far can India can go. So I think uh, Shinshu, you have to really look at from that perspective, saying that this is something which they've managed over the last four to five decades. And clearly it is something in India's case, we can again replicate. And probably since we have a model um, to follow, yeah. we could actually do it even faster. And uh, clearly, you know, there's um, uh, the other thing which uh, gets established by that is that at least an industry like uh, semiconductors, you need clusters, you know, that is when you really develop, yeah. and which is what we are trying to do around the initial one or two clusters where these units are coming up, the big ones. And uh, um, the goal is to actually build a cluster of that nature, bring research into that place, bring uh, other social infrastructure into that place. And that is the direction in which we are heading.